Connor, how big a month is this coming up for the team? Yeah, obviously really big. Um, obviously with the semi-final coming up and then league games coming thick and fast. Um, we just want to carry on the form that we're in and um, carry on winning games of football. I'm sure you'd have had some time off, but were you able to spend it productively as a, as a group as well? Anything that you could work on during the international break? Yeah, there's something we can work on everything. There's, there's a lot to improve and as I said, we're in a good a good vein of form, but at the same time we've got so much improvements to make and we've had a good week of training um, and then obviously a few of the international boys have come back this week, so it's been another good week and now uh, obviously we need to show it tomorrow against Dundee. What kind of game are you expecting? A tough one, I think, ever since Dundee have um, got promoted since I've been here and um, they've always been a hard force, tough to break down, um, have threats going forward. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm expecting a tough game. Obviously, I don't think their um, position in the league shows the kind of team that they are. They've always been a good team and obviously now they've got a new manager and I'm sure they'll be looking to win games of football. Good to have John Suter fit and available and you know, ready to play. The, the fact that a couple of times the manager's played a back three as well, what he made of that? Yeah, no. Um, John's really impressed me. He did in pre-season, to be fair, before he got injured, and then obviously he's been really unfortunate. But he's been really impressive in training. I think um, he's deserved the minutes that he's got coming in, and hopefully he can just build that fitness up and then um, start to get more and more involved regularly. Can that push you and Ben up another level as well, having someone else pushing you? Well, we need it. Competition's important at this football club. I think that everyone needs to have that competition. Um, this football club needs to win, so we all need to be at the top level of our game to make sure that happens. What's the battle like with Stephen Fletcher? Played against him a couple of times now. Yeah, good. He's physical. Um, obviously a good player, had a good career. Um, obviously I played against him, I think, down south before as well. So you know what he's about. He's obviously a physical present. He's good technically, especially if he's back to goal. So um, it's another test and um, one that we're going to have to deal with. Have you got a preference of the type of striker you like to play against? Of course, you've got different players, maybe more physical than those that like to run in behind. Is there any preference? No, it doesn't. I've played against everything, um, everyone. There's big people that can give you problems and the smaller ones that can give you problems. It all depends on the striker and on the day and how the team plays. So it doesn't. I don't have a preference of who or what. I play against. Conor, at the start of the season, the back four very disrupted, you were injured yourself. How important has it been to have that kind of back four really set since the, the manager came in? Yeah, it has, and I think it's shown in results. And I'm not saying that's obviously just because of me, I'm not saying that at all, but just to have a consistency of obviously me being fit, Ben being fit, obviously, he was out for a long time. Now you're having John Suter coming back and pushing the two of us. Um, Bourne has been fit for a longer period of time, so. It's helped the team in general, um, just having a bit of a settled base and being able to work frequently day in, day out together. Um, I think we should have more clean sheets that we've got, especially since I've been back fit. Um, um, it's something that we need to improve on and we need to start keeping more. But as a whole, I think as a defensive unit that we've been limiting other teams and not giving away too many chances. What about that partnership with Ben? Because you've played a good number of games together. How, how do you think you complement one another as a, as a back two? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. He's a very good player, um, calm, um, someone I don't really need to speak to as much. He plays his own game and I know that he plays to a standard that's, um, that's good. I don't need to really control him or I can just let him play and he's similar with me. Obviously, when we need to talk to each other, we do. Um, but on the whole, he is... Um, good to play, lovely left foot, and also knows how to defend, which is important. Connor, with that consistency that you talked about there, how easy is it then to be flexible when we move into a, um, a, a three? Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Um, it will be obviously. We've got to, obviously me and Ben have been playing together for a while in a four, um, so I don't really know the question. Well, you've had this consistency with this back four too, but yeah. that understanding, there's yeah. a suggestion that with John Suter coming back in, possibly playing three at the back, that's a different different system, obviously. Yeah. So how easy is that then to, to be flexible, to move from, from a four to a three or two to three? Yeah, obviously it's something that we're going to have to work on to do. Um, 
we've started working on a few different things in training um, in the last few weeks that obviously the manager said that we might go to in the future. Um, and it would, it'll just be a whole, it'll be a completely dif different system, but at the same time, it'll be something that we know that we've worked on the training pitch. And as you can see in the Motherwell game, when we went into it, it looked obviously they only had 10 minutes at the end of the game, but it looks like we have done it and it looked like we've worked on it. So that's the plan at the moment that just for us to be able to be fluid and be able to go in and out of different systems and be able to change tactically in games, um, if obviously games are going to plan or not going to plan. Colin, there's a, a determination just in the next month or two to finish as strong as we can and also in the League Cup final James Tavernier said that the squad didn't perform as well as he could have. Is that now something that's that's forefront of the squad, especially in the next few weeks when you could have three old forms and as many as six weeks to really go and press on and show Rangers in the best light we can? It's going to have to be. Um, and I don't say that as in I don't say that lightly. I mean, if we want anything to come from this season, then it's going to have to be. Um, first and foremost, we play against Dundee, which I think is an important game. We need to keep winning, keep confidence high and um, push the league as far as we can. And then obviously we move on to, as you said, we've got three old firms. Um, we have to show a better face than we did in the cup final. Um, and we need to get something out of all three of them if we want to salvage the season. It hasn't been good enough up to now. Um, since the new manager's come in, it's improved, but still we've lost the one trophy that's already been there to play for. And as I said, if we want to get something from this season, then it's going to have to be a good end to the season. How do you feel personally about your own form? I know you don't like talking about it as such, but you're all well over your recovery. And how do you feel about where you are and, and your own performances as well as the kind of overall and general stuff? Um, I feel quite happy feel quite comfortable. I think um, since I've come back, obviously, we have been on a good run. Um, we've obviously lost the one game we've been in the cup final, which obviously was a bad day for all of us. But as a whole, um, am I happy with how I've played since I've come back? Probably, yeah. Um, I couldn't have asked for it to really go better, as I said. I hope, would have hoped for more clean sheets than we've had currently in the last few, in the last probably six games. Um, but. No, I'm happy with how I've recovered and how I've come back and being able to help the team and I just want to push on now and have a good end to the season. So you mentioned salvaging this season. Do you hold up Are you any hope for winning the league? Well, it's not finished. So yeah, until it's until it's over we we're not gonna we're gonna try and do everything that we can to try and we have to play them twice. Um obviously there's still ten games remaining, so we're going to have to do all that we can and try and, but well, until it's over, then we're not going to we're not going to stop and stop trying. The league record under Michael is almost flawless. How frustrating is it? You've not been able to cut that nine point gap. Yeah, of course it is. And um, to be fair, one of the main things that the manager said, which um, which still sticks with me, when he come in on his one of his first meetings, he said that if we don't win the league this season, then we're going to win the league from now. And that's all we can do. And to be fair, we've done that on the run that we've been on since he's been here. And and to be fair to them, we're still nine points behind. So there's nothing really much more you can do. We have to concentrate on us, win games of football. And if it does happen, if it doesn't happen this season, then we know that it was our fault from the start of the season. And if it if it doesn't, then we still need to make sure, as I said, that we try and win the league from when the manager come in. It puts us on the right stepping stone for next season. Well, um, Alan McGregor is due to make his 500th competitive appearance for the club tomorrow. Um, how important for you as a centre back is it for someone like Alan behind you? No, it's been amazing um, for the length of time that I've been here to have someone so consistent in his day to day work. Um, not only for me to see, but for the whole squad, the standards that he sets every single day in training and the standard of his work. Um, Pretty much every single day is one of the first people in, if not the first. And um, he has his whole routine every single morning that he does, and his level in training is always at a top standard. So I'm really happy that I've been fortunate enough to play so many games in front of him. And um, and yeah, I'm I'm honoured to be able to say that I have played so many games with him.